हेलो नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू मॉम टेक टूडे आई एम शेयरिंग बेसिक इंडियन मील प्रेप आइडियाज फॉर यू स्टार्टिंग विद वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रीन इन यूर लाइफ दैट इज स्पेनेज एंड हाउ कैन यू स्टोर इट इन योर रेफ्रिजरेटर फॉर एन इंस्टेंट मील्स सो जस्ट ब्लांच द स्पिनेज After blanching, put it in ice cold water and then add some chilies and ginger and and blend it in a mixer for a puree. After blending, just uh, transfer it into an airtight jar or container and just keep it in refrigerate. It will be good for three to four days and you can use it instantly. Now storing the other veggies such as peas. So take the peel and blanch them in hot water for around 2 minutes. After boiling it for 2 minutes, transfer it into ice cold water and then let it dry on a napkin or a towel. After it's completely dried, then transfer the peas into a airtight Ziploc bag and put it in the refrigerator to freeze. in the same way store these finely chopped carrots after blanching them in hot water for 2 minutes and then transferring into ice cold water and then let it dry please make sure that no moisture content should be there it should be dried completely now let them dry now i am taking a pan and put some oil in this we are making the gravy or the masala for every indian curry now i have taken up to 250 grams of onions finely chopped add them to the oil and let it cook until it loses its moist water add the ginger garlic paste to it and let it cook until it's reduced to half and completely dried once the onion and the gar- ginger garlic paste is cooked then add the tomato puree i have used green chilies in this tomato puree and let it cook until this also reduced to half it should be cooked on a slow to medium gas add the basic masala such as salt red chili turmeric that is to be added in every sabzi or recipe that you make and some coriander powder just mix them thoroughly and let it cook until the masala leaves the oil in the pan it is very important to cook this masala completely so that it is not raw let it cool down and then transfer this masala into these ice trays to freeze them and the remaining portion in any bowl or an air tight container for the trays you can use the uh, trays with the covers or just use the cling wrap that will allow no air access to these ice cubes till then my peas are also dried so i am transferring them into an air tight container ziplock packet make sure that no excess air should be there in the packet remove the air completely 
another most important thing that we use in our daily basis is potato so just boil around 250 to 300 grams of potato and just to store in an airtight jar after peeling them in the same way i'm storing these boiled chickpeas into an airtight container in the fridge only it will be good for 2 to 3 days and you can use it any time this will be so quick to use it in your recipes now the masala in the tray has frozen i am taking it out from the as cubes and just transfer into into ziploc packets and you can keep it in the freezer as long as you want it can it is good for absolutely 7 days in the freezer now let me show how to use them So next in the lunch I'm making this mutter paneer for this I had this oil I'll simply fry some uh, paneer in the pan after doing so in the same pan I'll take a little bit of oil and add jeera to it After adding jeera, I am adding these bay leaves. Now, after these bay leaves, then jeera is cooked. now take the frozen masala cubes that you have prepared and add into your pan according how much gravy you want it so let them deep freeze once it is completely melted then you just have to cook it for 1 or 2 minutes and then amount of water according to the thickness of your gravy add the basic masalas if you want to such as salt red chili or coriander powder or any other masala according to the curry you are making now i am adding the peas these peas are already half cooked as i have blanched them and then stored now after cooking the peas i am adding the paneer and give this curry a good mix and then let it cook for another 2 to 3 minutes 
how simple is it to make these delicacies at home that do in within 10 to 15 minutes meal prep is a life changer hack that we use nowadays we waste a lot of time deciding what to cook prior planning and prep cleared this dilemma now i'm using this spinach gravy for making an cider as a curd raita palak curd raita so for this i have tempered cumin and some garlic in the oil and now adding the tampering into the spinach and it will be ready such a quick instant and yummy dish to try it takes less than half an hour to me to cook both of these In the evening, I decided to cook some cheese balls for Chiku. So I have taken that uh, stored potatoes, mashed them and add the vegetables such as peas and carrots. And then I did some basic masalas and make the balls out of it and stuffed some cheese inside it. Kids eat anything with cheese with so much of love. So I decided to make them at home only. This way they are more healthy for him to eat and he enjoys it a lot. So, so while doing meal prep ahead of time you will save a lot of time and also be able to cook these time taking dishes in, a, in less time. Enjoy. Do like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Mom Tech.